honoring the men and women who've served our nation. A thousand thanks. Three very special monuments were unveiled today honoring fallen heroes and those who selflessly served our country. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski joins us now from Hinkie Park where the monuments are standing. Brenda, what was the reaction like when they were unveiled this morning? Terry, these monuments behind me carry so much significance. There was joy, sadness, and remembrance during the unveiling. Gold Star families came with photos and flowers, while others came to pay tribute to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. I had a couple trips to Vietnam, and I've lost quite a few people during my time, especially during the Tet Offensive. And this thing here kind of brings back a lot of memories. Two-time Purple Heart recipient, Command Sergeant Major Richard Murphy, talks about the Purple Heart Monument that he helped unveil. He and dozens of other families and servicemen joined in a special ceremony to unveil monuments for Purple Heart recipients, Gold Star families, and Medal of Honor recipients. Joe Caballero remembers his sister, Staff Sergeant Virginia Caballero, who was just 41 when she lost her life. I honestly knew that she would outdo all the men. I never had a doubt in my mind that she would soar to the top of her field. Uh, serving in her country is exactly what she wanted to do. Commander Benny Guerrero says the effort to get the monuments together was a community effort and that he's glad Lubbock holds a special place for those who have sacrificed for their country. I think for a community to remember the sacrifice and honor the fallen is such so important to our way of life. It's, it says a lot about, its citizen, uh, about the city and the community's character. And just like the men and women represented on the monuments, he says they serve to protect. One of the most important people that get left out are our Gold Star families. And that's why this monument is in the middle. It's being protected by the Medal of Honor recipient. He's probably the most courageous, vicious person uh, who you would want to fight in battle. And the other one is the Purple Heart recipient who is not afraid to shed blood for our freedoms. Now, Commander Guerrero says funds for this project were also used to help veteran ha families and those battling with PTSD. Terry?